Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on our upper body, mainly to improve strength and mobility in our arms. So we will need some of the equipment today. Uh, we're going to need a roll, yoga block, or you can use uh, books or anything this height. And then I have a few dumbbells. So I've got here two, four and five kilos. Obviously, choose the dumbbells are suitable for you. First, what we need, we're going to need a roll. We start with our, neo, with our neo fascia release. So place the roll on the mat, turn around, and then lay down that the roll stays underneath your shoulder blades. So how to check it? So if you lay down on the roll, you can extend both of your arms. If you slide your shoulder blades up, and then you slide them down, slightly squeezing them, you can feel if the bottom of the shoulder blade is pressing into the roll. Hey, go, this is the bottom of your shoulder blade. So what we're going to start with, we're going to keep our hands behind our head, so lock your fingers. Make sure you see your elbows always with your peripheral vision, with your side vision. So don't drop your elbows, don't drop your elbows to the side, but at the same time, don't keep them too close here. So somewhere in the middle, like 45 degree angle. And now from here, you inhale, lower this up down, make sure roll doesn't roll, and then exhale, bring yourself back, look at the top of your knees. Again, in for inhale, let your chest open, exhale, close. Six more times, inhale, and exhale. Watch your elbows, make sure you always see them with your side vision. Inhale, and exhale. Don't overarch your lower back. Keep it neutral, inhale and exhale. We're working on the chest mobility now, not on the lower back. Inhale and exhale one more time. Inhale and exhale. You still stay here. And now this time lift your hips off the floor. And now inhale, roll yourself towards the top of the shoulders. And then exhale, roll it down, slightly lower than your shoulder blades. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Good. And now drop your hips back down. Again, position the roll correctly so it stays in underneath your shoulder blades. We keep our hands still behind our head. This time you inhale and then when you exhale, you slightly rotate. And then you're trying to reach the ceiling with your top elbow. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale. Two. Inhale, exhale. Three. Perfect. Inhale, rotate. Four. Inhale, exhale. Five. Let's do one more. Inhale, exhale. Last one on this side. Inhale and exhale. Brilliant. Now turn. On your side, so roll stay still here. We're placing roll straight and we're gonna place it in line with our breath. So if you draw an edge in your line here, you're gonna lay down with your rib cage on the roll, not underneath your armpit, slightly lower down. So keep it nice and straight, place yourself down, keep your knees uh, slightly bending, extend your arm, and now place your head not behind your head, slightly on the top here, like it's touching the top of your ear. And now from here, you inhale, roll yourself down, roll, roll, roll a little bit. Exhale, press your palm into the floor and bring yourself back up. Again, inhale and exhale, push yourself off the floor too. Inhale, roll the six times, exhale, three. Inhale, make sure you breathe, exhale, four. Inhale, exhale, five, one more time. Inhale, exhale, six. Now keep your hand behind your head, press your palm into your head, your head into your palm. So your head is nice straight line in line with your spine. And now from here you inhale, look up into the ceiling and then exhale, look down nice and slowly. Don't do it too fast. Inhale and exhale, two. Perfect. On a scale one to ten, the pain should be five, six. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale and exhale. If it's too painful for you to do it on the roll, you can just draw a towel or blanket and start with them. Again, exhale here, last one. Inhale and exhale. Brilliant. Now we're going to 
come up with the rule. Now tuck your elbow in, so and place your shoulder on the rule. Yeah, so like this. And now from here, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna roll. Inhale and exhale. Mm -hmm. Inhale and exhale. It might be quite painful. So if you feel like, oh, calm is like too much, just keep your other leg on the floor so you can slightly control the amount of force you goes into the roll. But you still wanna apply some pressure into the roll. As I said before, on a scale of one to 10 is five, six. In just a few more seconds, three, two, one, brilliant, and now push yourself off the floor. Let's just do all the same on the other side. Again, roll goes on the side, lay down, extend your arm. We start from keeping our hand on the top of our ear. So you inhale, roll yourself down, exhale, press your palm off the floor, come back, inhale, exhale, perfect. Inhale, exhale, six times, inhale, exhale, let's do two more, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, brilliant. Now hand goes behind your head, and then from here you inhale, look up into the ceiling, exhale, look down. Inhale, exhale, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, good, and three more times. Inhale, exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale, and exhale, brilliant. Now push yourself on the floor, tuck your elbow in, so shoulder goes on the roll. You can keep the front arm slightly here, so you can just roll yourself back and forth. Let that shoulder relax and then when you do more knee pressure release you will see that when you exercise you actually start getting results much faster than you would do if you don't do these little things which are very very important good a few more seconds three two and one well done okay now we're moving roll on the side mm -hmm. and then we'll move to the next so next i want you to lay down on the side again, rest your head on your arm, keep your knees together, 90 degree angle, squeeze your knees and then press your knees into the floor, extend your arm and now slide your arm forwards, inhale, open, make sure your knees stays on the floor and then you press your knees into each other as well, close, again slide, inhale, open, mm -hmm. exhale, close, brilliant, again inhale, open, Exhale, close. Let's do two more times. Now we slightly change. Slide. Inhale, open. Exhale. Last one. Slide. Inhale, open. And exhale. Brilliant. And now this time we'll let the top leg go of the other leg. So this time you inhale, bring your knee closer to the chest, open. And then exhale, take your leg back, extend it. And then you extend them diagonally in line. Again, inhale, open, knee to the chest, rest it, and then exhale, take yourself back. Again, inhale, open, exhale, three, little bit faster, inhale, open, exhale, four, brilliant, inhale, open, knee to the chest, exhale, Five and then one more time. Inhale and then exhale. Six. Well done. Push yourself off the floor and then change sides. Now we're lying down on the other side. Again, knees 90 degree angle. And then from here we do exactly the same. First we slide. Inhale, we open. Exhale, close. One. Slide. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Then again, slide, inhale, and exhale, slide, inhale, and exhale, again, slide, inhale, exhale, let's add leg, so leg comes knee to the chest, inhale, open, and now exhale, reach diagonally, brilliant, inhale, open, exhale, two. Those are six, four more times. Inhale, exhale, good, three more. Inhale, and exhale, two more. Inhale, your fingers all open, nice and wide. Last one, inhale, and exhale, brilliant. And now from here,
here, push yourself on the floor. We're gonna sit down into that. And so keep your uh, foot together. And then from there, you place one hand on the floor and then the other one, you squeeze the fist, yeah? And then you're kind of trying to bring it towards you. So it's not relaxed. You're trying, imagine this part wants to touch your arm inside, yeah? So press, make sure you sit nice and straight. And now from here, you inhale and then exhale, you take it back. Again, inhale, exhale back to Inhale, exhale, three, good. Inhale, exhale, four. And then two more times. Inhale, exhale, watch the shoulder, shoulder push down. Inhale and exhale, brilliant. Now let's change side, do the same on the other side. Again, make sure towards you. Yeah, it will be uncomfortable feeling. Inhale, exhale, good. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three, brilliant. Inhale, exhale, four, two more times. Inhale, exhale, last one. Inhale and exhale, brilliant. Hands down, let's move to the next. So for the next, we will need a block. You can grab a box, you can grab anything, give you that height, and then we will need a dumbbell. I'm gonna go for five kilos, as our main movement here is going to be press. So I want you to bring one knee on the block and then the other knee comes forward. So it's 90-90 kneeling, yeah? Look, my back, my back leg is gonna be off the floor all the time. And then when you stand here, try not to overarch your lower back, stay in line with your knee. The other point, if you slide leg a little bit more to the side, it's going to be easier for you to hold yourself. If you want a more challenge, just keep it more into the straight line here. So grab the dumbbell. So you're gonna hold the dumbbell on the same side, which knee is now on the box. So from here, what I want you to do, keep your hands on your ribs. So you're gonna control them to make sure they're not coming forward. So from here first, you bring one shoulder forward, one back, your head is always looking straight. And then change, look at my shoulders. One goes away, one forward. One comes forward, one away, good. Just for a few seconds here to feel the movement. So imagine you kind of stick and then you're moving like your spine is a stick, you're moving back and forth, that's it. And then when you're here at the back, when this shoulder is forward, you do press. Press, take it down and then hop. Back, press, two. Take it back, hop, come back and three, breathe in, take it down, shoulder back, shoulder front, four. Good, watch those ribs back. So I don't want this, yeah? So your ribs is always stuck in. Again, shoulder back, hop, perfect. Again, back, forward, seven, let's do three more times. Back, forward, press, mm -hmm. a little bit lower, back, forward, press, good, two more times, back, Front, hop, last one, just one more, back, front, and press, brilliant. Now just stay as you are, just take the down on the other hand. So exactly the same here, we're gonna start with a shifting, one shoulder forward, one back, two, good, three, and four, and now back, press. So when that hand with the dumbbell is back, you press, back, Press two, brilliant. Again, shoulder comes forward, shoulder back, three. Mm -hmm. Forward, back, four. This is your walking pattern. Forward, back, five, five more times. Hop, hop. Watch those rib cage. Five, last four, front, back, four, three more. Front, back, three, and then last two. Front, back, two. Good, last one, front back and one well done let's change leg we we'll do exactly the same on the other side so keep your knee on the block foot goes off the floor and now that leg is in front make sure you always press this foot onto the floor and kind of slightly dragging towards you like imagine your foot is in a goal and you're trying to bring it towards you or just press it into the floor to make sure you feel the ground you feel the block so let's take 
this same hand is just finished. So the side where is the block, that side is holding a dumbbell. And we start from little rotation here. So back and forth, only your upper body kind of moving, your head stays still. Good. Again, front, let's add press. Press one. Front, back, two. Exhale here. Front, back, three. Control on the core. Front, back, four. Good. Front, back, five. Fantastic. Front, back, six. Four more times. Front, back, seven. Again, front, back, eight. Keep breathing. Front, back, nine. Last one, then we change hand. Front, back, press, 10. Watch your core, use your core. Don't let it come forward. Now, all the same on this side. Again, start with a little shoulder movement. So back and forth. Just get the rhythm that only your shoulders moves. Only you should not here. I'm not making you to move side to side. Just your shoulder. You bring one forward, one back. Okay, let's add press. So back, press one. Hop, back, two. Perfect. Back, front, three. Mm -hmm. Back, front, four. Press that leg into the floor. Back, front, five. Five more. Back, front, five. Last four. Back, front, three more times. Back, front, press. And then last two. Back, front, two. Four more. Back, front, and well done. Let's bring this dumbbell down and for the next we will need lighter dumbbell. So just I'm going to keep two next to me but before that let's stand up and we're going to do eight walking planks. So I want you to go through the hinge, soften your knees, place your hands on the floor, walk yourself forward into the plank, try not to move your hips too much side to side. Brilliant, soften your knees, take yourself back. Stand up, one. Again, hinge, knee soft, walk yourself down. Soften your knees, take yourself back. And two, hinge, knee soft down. Open all of your fingers. Plank, soften your knees, come up. Three, hinge, knee soft, walking down into the plank. Taking back. Four, halfway, four more times. You should feel nice and warm now. Plank, back. Four. Watch those hips, not too fast. Control the hips. They move and move inside the side. Plank, back six. Two more times. Last two. Hinge. Walking down. Mm -hmm. Taking back. And stand up. Last one. Hinge down. Plank and then taking yourself back up. Brilliant. Fantastic. Next, we're going to go into the side plank. So we will need this two kilo dumbbell. So I want you to lay down on your side. Bottom leg is going to be bent. So we're going to do kind of easy version of the side plank. So you keep your elbow, your hip, and your knee in line. The top leg is just covering. And then from here, just push yourself off the floor. Make sure shoulder stays in line with your elbow. Push your elbow into the floor so you're not kind of sinking down here. Yeah? Grab the dumbbell and then extend your arm. So in this position, I want you to lift your leg off the floor. Now inhale, bring your leg forward, open the dumbbell. Exhale, take your leg back, dumbbell goes in front, like your chest is looking down, you're not touching the floor with the dumbbell. Again, inhale, open. Exhale. If it's too hard for you to do it with the dumbbell, just drop the dumbbell. Do it without. Inhale, open. Exhale. Three. Keep breathing, no rush here. Inhale, press that elbow into the floor. Exhale, four. Well done. Inhale, open. Uh-huh. Exhale. Five, five more. Inhale. And exhale. Last four. Inhale. And exhale. Three more to go. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Inhale, stay strong. Exhale. Let's do one more time. Inhale and exhale. Brilliant. Take it down. Well done, you. Let's change side. So we have another 10 on the other side. 
exactly the same. Elbow, hip and the knee all in line. Position yourself nicely, correctly, beautifully. Push yourself off the floor, extend your arm. That leg comes off the floor and then let's go. We inhale, open. Exhale, one. Inhale, open. Exhale, two. Breathe out. Inhale, open. Exhale, three. Inhale, good. Exhale, four. Inhale, strongly press elbow to the floor. Exhale, halfway through five. Five more times. Inhale, and exhale. Last four. Inhale, and exhale. Three left. Inhale and exhale. Give me two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and strong exhale. Ready and take this tumble. Well done. Let's move tumble on the side. So for the next, we will need a block again. And then we will need a two tumbles probably. A light and a little bit heavier. So I'm gonna go four with the first exercise and two with the second. So this time, again, we're going into the kneeling position 90-90. So one leg comes forward, the other one stays on the floor, on the knee. So this foot, which is important, remember I was telling you, you're always kind of trying to slide towards you. And then you're pressing the other leg into the floor. Use that. Use your legs as well at the same time as you're working on your upper body. So grab the temple. And then from here, we place our block or books next to our knee. Yeah, so now from here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower myself down and I'm in a position where I start my first movement. So now from here, I want you to inhale, shift your hips to the side and at the same time, we'll look over the dumbbell. Exhale, come back, press your palm into the block. Again, inhale. Good. Exhale back. Two. Inhale. Nice and strong. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale. Four. Ten times only. Inhale. Exhale. Five. Shift those hips to the side. Inhale. Exhale. Six. Inhale. Exhale. Seven. Three more. Keep sliding that foot towards you. Inhale. Exhale, last two. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. Brilliant. If you like, you can keep the same dumbbell uh, or take lighter one for the next movement. So we're gonna come back in the same position, but this time we're gonna inhale, we open our chest and then exhale, lower yourself down, slightly arch the back and you kind of diagonally reaching towards the floor. Again, inhale, open, chest looking up into the ceiling. Exhale, close, arch your back a little bit. Inhale, open. Ten times here as well. Exhale, three, keep sliding that front foot. Keep pressing the other leg into the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale. Good. Inhale, arch that back on the way down. Inhale, exhale, be halfway through. Five more. Inhale. And exhale. I want you to less swinging, more muscle work. So you lift it with your muscles, not swinging here. And then three left. Exhale. Inhale back. Last two. Exhale. Inhale back. Good. And then one more time. Last one. Exhale. Back slightly arched. Inhale. We open. Brilliant. Just stay here now. Take yourself back. Take the dumbbell. Well done. Let's change sides. Again, we're moving block on the other side, bringing the other leg forward. Remember, yeah, keep sliding that foot. Use your foot, use your toes, stay with the foot. Take the socks off, take your shoes off. Make sure you feel your foot and then press the other leg into the floor. Okay, I'm gonna get my four heels first. So I'm lowering myself down, hop, and now I'm starting. I'm inhaling hips to the side, Lower your arm. Exhale. Take yourself back. One. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Back. Two. Inhale. Exhale. 
three, inhale, exhale, four, good, inhale, exhale, five, inhale, exhale, six, press your front foot into the floor, inhale, exhale, seven, three more, inhale, exhale, and then two left, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, bring it, take the dumbbell down, and then swoop them, or keep the same, up to you, always listen to your body, how strong you are today, how do you want to do it today, so again, we open, inhale, and then exhale, slightly arch your back, reach with the dumbbell, inhale, open, exhale, no swinging here, all control through the muscle, close, inhale, open, well done, Exhale, close, brilliant. Inhale, open. Exhale, good. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So keep breathing. Arch your back here. Four more. Inhale, and exhale. Last three. Inhale, and exhale. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Give me last one. Inhale and exhale. Take this dumbbell back and now take yourself back where you came from. Well done. Let's move dumbbells to the side and then from here we're going to move to the next. So for the next, I'm going to stand up. We're going to go into the walking plank first. So from here into the hinge, knees soft. Walk yourself down into the plank. Good. Nice controlled plank here. Open all of your fingers. Make sure there's enough space between your foot because we're going to, from here, we're going to move to the side planks. So you inhale here and now exhale, side, open. Inhale back to the plank. Exhale, side. Inhale back to the plank. Exhale. Well done. Inhale back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, well done, again, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, exhale, and now we inhale, and then we exhale, we stay here in the side plank. Good, so what we're going to do here, we inhale, shift your hips all the way up to the ceiling, and now exhale, drop them down, but without touching the floor. Again, inhale, and exhale down two. Inhale, exhale three. Inhale, exhale four. Well done. Inhale, exhale five. And now take yourself back into the side plank, come back to the center. Now turn around and all the same on this side. So we inhale here, exhale down. Inhale, exhale down two. Inhale, exhale three, perfect. Inhale, exhale four, well done one more time. Inhale, exhale five. Good, and now bring yourself back into the plank, soften your knees. And just for a second, you can lay down into the child pose, give yourself just a few seconds rest. As for the next one, we're going to stand up and do some swinging. So, breathe here. You can bend your elbows, you can place your hands alongside of your body so it will take the tension away from your shoulders. And just take two nice deep breaths here. Inhale through your nose. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Brilliant. And now bring your hands back in front of your knees. Push yourself off the floor. And then let's grab the heavy dumbbell. And we're going to move to the next exercise. So I'm going to get five. So what I'm going to do. So I'm hold the dumbbell in my right hand. So that means my left leg is going to do step. So. I'm holding the dumbbell on the top of the shoulder. I'm going to go 
step, my back foot goes into my toes. I'm swinging the dumbbell in front of my leg. Then I come back and then I take the dumbbell back. Yeah? So swing, hop, back. Swing and back. Good. Swing and back. Let's do one more. Swing and back. Now I'm going to add shoulder press. So you step, you swing, you step back, you press. Don't do this. You press, you keep yourself nice and still control the pelvis, control your ribs. Again, step, swing, catch, press. Mm -hmm. Swing, catch, and press three. Again, swing, catch, four, two more times. Swing, catch, five, last one, just one more. Step, swing, catch the dumbbell, and press. Well done. Guess what? All the same on the other side. So six swings, and then swings, swings with the shoulder press. Let's go here, double up. Let's step, swing, catch the dumbbell. Good. Again, hop, catch the dumbbell. Step, swing, catch the dumbbell. Well done. Step, swing, catch the dumbbell. And one last one. Step, swing, and catch. This time we end press. We step, watch your lower back. Hop, and one. Right hand step. Swing, catch the dumbbell, and press two. Well done. Step, swing, catch the dumbbell. Three, three more. Step, good. Back, press. Well done. Watch those ribs. Watch your lower back. Two more times. Two, last one. One more. Swing, hop, back. Well done. You. We have just one more for you to go through, maybe two. So let's do some push-ups. So what we're going to start with, we're going to the hinge, we soften our knees, we're working ourselves down into the plank. Make sure your wrist underneath your shoulder blades and underneath your shoulders. And now from here, you're lowering yourself down into the tricep push-up. If it's too much, just stay on your knees and go here. Two and three, make sure chest goes first. Four and five. Bring yourself back into the plank, soften your knees, and then walk yourself back up and be done with one. Again, hinge, knees soft, walk yourself down, push your shoulders down, yeah? make sure your head stays straight, yeah? And then go down, pull one, push your back, good. Two, push your back, and three, push your back, good. If it gets too hard, just go on your knees, there's nothing bad about that. Four, and then one more, down, five. Back into the plank, and walk yourself back up. Well done, guess what? Just one more. Again, hinge, knees soft, walk yourself down. Let's go straight over here on our knees. And then tricep one. Good. Two. Exhale. Three. Exhale. Four. Maybe don't go that low. Maybe just a little, but make sure your elbows tuck in. Five. Plank. To walk yourself back down. Well done. Good. Let's walk ourselves back down on the floor. Mm -hmm. Drop your knees down here. And now from here, just lay down on your stomach, extend both of your arms, and now slide your left arm to your chest, and then bend your left knee. And now from here, that arm stays extended. Now push yourself off the floor, place your whole foot on the floor, head is relaxing. Now lift this head, hand off the floor, hold it here, and place it behind your back. Inhale, open a little bit more. That's over. <laughs> so again, inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Relax. 
and then extend this arm, bring it back, take yourself back again on your chest, extend your arms both sides, and now push yourself to the other side, I'll be back to you so you can see what I'm doing, see I'm placing my whole foot down, and all the floor, from the fingers, behind your back, inhale, open, exhale, relax, inhale, try to open the chest a little bit more, now take your hand back, press it back again into the mat, take yourself back from here, and now push yourself a little bit off the floor, take one arm and kind of place it underneath your breast, so as you're stretching your shoulder, place your forehead down, stay centered, the other hand just extended, so keep breathing here, inhale, exhale, try not to be on any of the sides, try, try to stay centered, that's why we're placing forehead on the floor, and now push yourself off the floor, swap sides, again, extend, forehead here, breathe, From here, just push yourself into your knees. So as you're about to go on your chair pose, extend your arms. Let's do just a couple of the ways here. Inhale, exhale, send the weight, arch your back, bring yourself forward. Drop your hips down, push shoulders down, cobra. Take your back, inhale. Again, exhale. Bring yourself forward. Exhale. Here. And then taking yourself back, opening your spine at this time. Push yourself down. And then lay down on the mat. Give me another nice inhale. Three more. Exhale. And one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Slide your hands all the way over to your knees, push yourself off the floor, bring your knees together. Well done, you. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think, let me know what else you want to do, and I'll see you next time.